It appears to me that the UFC wants to drag Nate far past his prime, punish him with the worst possible matchups, then release him with diminished star power so he can't make much money after the UFC. It comes across as spiteful as all hell. Right. Right. I, I've said this before. This is not the first time they've done this. Like, when Arlovsky was on the last fight of his contract and everyone knew he was going to affliction, they they tried to give him the next best thing, uh, the, what they thought was the guy who was a rising phenom at the time, and they buried him on the prelims just to fucking stick it to him. And it didn't work. But, like, let's assume that they're doing that to Nate, right? The question would be, is this the first time the UFC has done this? Not even close. So... You know, why would this be out of character when organizationally we have seen this kind of behavior previously? You ever seen that meme where it's like James Franco and he's got the the uh, the noose around his neck and he's like, first time? Seems like a lot of fans are like looking across and seeing James Franco. It ain't the first time. 